Konnichiwa, minasan. Hello, everyone. Once again, this is Blackbird7, otherwise known around here as Shadow, and welcome back to Modern Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Today is July 28, 2012, and uh, that was a flashy opening ceremony last night at the Olympic, Olympic Stadium in London. Anyway, continue where we left off, we have two events today, one Olympic event and one Dream event. The first event is an Olympic event returning from the original Mars Sonic Olympic Games, Trampoline. Once again, I'll be playing as Shadow for this event. So, Trampoline has underwent a makeover and been simplified such that instead of completing a string of actions and button presses to perform tricks, tricks are done by swinging the Wii Remote in any direction. Of course, you're still responsible for timing your jump. Therefore, this event's all about timing. Let's proceed to the event. North Greenwich Arena, otherwise known as the O2 Arena, is the venue for all gymnastics events in this Olympiad. So, 27.65 points held by Silver is scored to beat for the gold medal. Let's go to Shadow as he readies himself for his turn. Shadow! So, as you can see here, swinging the rear remote, left will do a clockwise spin, right will do a counterclockwise spin, down will do a forward flip, clockwise will do a clockwise diagonal flip, and counterclockwise will do a counterclockwise diagonal flip. Also, pressing the B button while performing a trick will put your character in the crouching position while doing the trick. Without it, all that explained, let's begin. Of course, the first part of the trampoline is to practice tying the jumps in order to jump higher and perform more tricks to get a higher score. The perfect timing comes from swinging the, swinging the Wii Remote once your character is about to bounce off again. So two perfect jumps was enough for Shadow to be at his highest, so there we go. Now, as I said before, trampoline is all about timing. And I swung my remote too early there and consequently got a bad jump there. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, in order to get the highest score possible in this event, jumps and the tricks must be well timed. Um, going over jumps already, for tricks, those shrinking blue circles you see following the first trick after each jump signals the timing. Of course, for beginners, you could swing as you will and still get points, but in order to get the highest score possible, you must swing the rear mode once each blue circle is at its smallest possible and get a bonus 0.5 to 0.25 points added to each trick's standard value of 0.5 points. And in the end, I actually still got a great score despite my seemingly subpar performance. And actually, more interestingly, I beat my previous record of exactly 29 points. Or maybe I was just underestimating myself since then. So here are the final results once more. Shadow snags the goal once again. Silver Silver takes silver, interestingly, and Bowser Jr. takes bronze. Let's go to the award ceremony now to see the winners. Bronze medal! Koopa Jr. Oh, yeah. Silver medal! Silver! <laughs> Mama bye. Gold medal! Shadow! Hidekusunai! And that successfully concludes trampoline, well here at least. One more event awaits and it's a dream event so let's proceed and see which one it is. So on my schedule, day 2 concludes with dream long jump or dream hopping which I think is the more appropriate name. I'll be setting shadow side this time around in favor of Yoshi one of my most favorite Nintendo characters. So the objective of this stream event is to jump the farthest, hence long jump, using clouds to hop along the way, hence hopping. And at the same time, you'll be obstructed by not just the three other competitors, but also obstacles, which we will see later. The remote is held sideways with a D-pad to move, two to ground pound, and shake the remote to do a flutter jump. I really hate this event, but let's get it underway. Yoshi's picture book is the setting, Yoshi no Eihon in Japanese. So Yoshi will face Blaze, Waluigi, and Tails. Let's head down now and meet our competitors. Yoshi! Yoshi! Now, for those of you who are well versed in all things Mario, might recognize that the setting of this event is based on Rayo Lift, stage 1-3 of Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. 
Now, I really hate this event because I would say this event is for the most part based on luck while the rest is based on strategy. Poor players in one slowly scrolling screen all aiming to be the last one standing is already messy enough. I'm being quite laid back here so as to not to be hopped on and fall to my elimination but given the changing circumstances it won't always be like that. So there goes Waluigi already, meeting his demise after being hopped down by either Tails or Blaze. And there goes Giant Bully Bill, hoping to knock down one of us left. And with Waluigi eliminated, there goes one of his bomb balloons to mess us further. As I was saying, even though 3 players remain, the incoming obstacles still make things quite messy. Now as I try to get away from the duel between Blaze and Tails, there goes another cheap, giant cheap cheap, hoping to swoop at least one of us down to join Waluigi and crap. Oh, and luckily, Yoshi still managed to recover as Tails joins Waluigi at the sign lights. So Yoshi and Blaze remain as circumstances become a little more zenny. Being a one-on-one -on -one situation now, perhaps it's a good idea to try to remove Blaze from the picture. And after zapping Blaze the Cat for a close attempt, and there she goes! There goes Blaze the Cat, but here comes another bullet bill zooming by. With Yoshi the last one standing and already the winner, let's see how far he can go in this ever tricky scenario. So, the Flurry Balloon Bombs continually fly across the screen as Yoshi tries to go across here as things get a little more tricky. He just barely made it over the balloon there, and uh, that was a very stupid move there. Our fun loving green dinosaur won nevertheless, with the final distance of 276 meters, 90 meters short of my daunting record of 366. So Blaine's wins the second medal and Tails wins the third medal while Waluigi leaves empty handed with a dismal final distance of 75 meters. Let's go to the award ceremony now and meet our winners. Third medal, Tails! Jodeki, Jodeki. Second medal, Blaze! Wazu, wazu to First medal, Yoshi! So that concludes the final event today and at the same time, the second day of events. Once again, thank you all who joined me during this time. Watch the actual 2012 Olympic Games in London on TV, on the internet, or however you can. Once again, this is Blackbird 7 otherwise known around here as Shadow, commentating from the other side of this screen. And until tomorrow, sayonara. <laughs>